we're back with a, another grocery haul. Shopping for two weeks, feeding nine people, yada, yada, yada. Let me share with you what I got from the first store that I went to. All right, so the first thing I got was 10 pounds of chicken breasts or chicken chests or chicken bosoms or whatever you want to call it. Um, in our family, we were taught to have respect for the chicken and so we call them chicken chests or bosoms as my husband was trying to figure out. So that is the meat I got. Um, they were $1.79 a pound, which isn't, you know, the $1.69, which is usually my stock up price. But anyway, it's a dollar more than I would have paid otherwise. All right, here we go. We've got, we have two three pound packages of the ground turkey. They were on sale this weekend for five dollars so i picked two up let's see what else do we have okay i already cooked one of these and this um is the second package these are i'm sorry five dollars for two pounds and anyway i already cooked one up because i had to get the quiche going for the other meals that i have been making for the people i explained that in my last video and you can check up here to see that to kind of see what's going on Alrighty, I did not buy a computer mouse that is left here. Alrighty, we have four cans of olives. I don't remember how much these were, $1.49 I think. We have some uh, $1.99 a pound vine ripe tomatoes. This was $2.49 and we needed some lids for my jars because I have no idea where they got up and walked away. Okay, we've got some cheese sticks for $2.49. Um, there was three packages, what was the other one? Three packages of cheese for five dollars. I needed this for the, um, quiche, this for the taco salad we're having tonight, and this for some snack. And then the cheese sticks. Alright, uh, the salami was five dollars a pound, so I got two five pound packages. The kids have already been into it, and to tell you the truth, I ate some of it in the store as well because I left before I could have uh, lunch. All right, we have two things of cottage cheese, one for my husband to eat because he's always getting into my cottage cheese, and then one for me to make smoothies with. I picked up a sour cream um, for tonight for the taco salad. There is a... Um, 14 ounce bag of spinach on the counter that I put in that quiche that I made and then these are all two two pound bag of frozen veggies so we have a green bean a broccoli a pea a corn and mixed vegetables and these were each a dollar 99 for the two pound bag which means a dollar a pound those can go in the freezer, honey. Okay, oh, I am... Oh. Yes. This can also go in the freezer. This was... Um, I want to... I don't remember. I'll put a little card in. But I had a dollar off coupon. And I decided this was going to be our ice cream tonight. Our treat when we had um, some company over. I am babysitting three extra girls tonight. And so this is going to be our ice cream. Because I wanted a healthier option. Alright, I picked this up for husband. It is sauerkraut. It is not Bubby's, which is his favorite, but it doesn't have vinegar in it, which is a big thing for him. I picked up a, a gallon of our almond milk. The, I don't know if that'll last us two weeks or not. I don't know. It was $4.99 and I had a 50 cent off coupon that I used with it. Alright, this was $7.99 for three pounds. This can go in the freezer. That was a special. I talked about this. I need to put those way um celery was a dollar 99 i have three two pound bags of carrots they were a dollar 69 i this was not on the shopping list but they look so good pears are my favorite fruit and so i picked those up i think they were dollar 49 a pound tangelos were on sale for a dollar a pound and then bell peppers were, oh, that's what I forgot to put in the quiche. The bell peppers. Whoops. Oh, well. The bell peppers were a dollar each. So we have eight bell peppers, you know, of the different colors. So we have uh, yellow, green, red, and orange. 
Alrighty. And then lastly, I believe we have um, some green beans. So I think that was it. Let me check my receipt. Okay, so there was one more thing, and that was um, this aluminum foil. It uh, was a free promotion thing that I got. All right, so there's my total, one forty one ninety five. I used a five dollar off your fifty dollar purchase, and if I was smart, I would have dumpster dived for a couple more of those. Um, there's, you know, two of those three dollar meat meat markdowns. Um, I also had that dollar off coupon, a fifty cent off coupon. Um, for the sour cream, and yeah, I think that was it. So there we go, one forty-one ninety-five. I still have about a hundred dollars for the next store, and actually, I have a hundred, hundred and sixty for the next store because we moved the grocery. Anyway, what I've been trying to say is, I'm not too particular about saving or being as tightly frugal with the other people as I am um, with our own family because they give me a set amount of money that um, that I do what I do for the whole month and I give them a menu and they approve or disapprove or add or subtract what they want and um, the main thing with them is to make sure you know that they're staying within their diet um, and that they are getting what they what they pay for I don't I don't know if that makes sense so anyway my my whole point in that is we've been doing it for five hundred dollars a month for our family of seven and we're going to do it um, at this point at six hundred dollars for feeding nine people um, for a whole month or six hundred dollars a month to feed nine people there we go all right so I'm gonna put all this food away um, brown up what I need to which I think will be that as well, and uh, just try to get ahead of the game here. <clears throat> and uh, stay tuned because I still have one more store that I need to do some grocery shopping with. All right, so we did the other grocery shopping, and um, we are under budget as of right now. We spent eighty-one dollars and then a hundred and fifty yesterday, so dollars under budget right now so if I need to go back to the store I can all right so we have some zucchini and some egg whites um, I picked up a flat of strawberries this is from a roadside stand and as you can tell we've already really dug into this this was $15 for this and that's actually it was a really good price for what I normally see and then um, the sweet potatoes were on sale this week for 99 cents a pound I have some yogurts here. If you really want to get this put in the fridge now. Um, some of the sprouted bread that we're going to use. Some banana. I have a jicama. It was on sale. And some kohlrabi. It was on sale. Um, let's see. We have a bunch of tomatoes here for um, a no bean chili. So I have two here. One here. One there. And then two larger ones down there. I have some broccoli. I have this big thing of potatoes, and I'm going to cook up some of this for tonight. Brussels sprouts, mustard greens, big three pound thing of um, tortilla chips. Um, this was another roadside thing. These were two for a dollar, so I picked up several, as you can tell. I picked some of these up for my husband. Some cream cheese. Here's some more tomatoes. Um, I picked that up for my husband. That's his absolute favorite. And since he doesn't normally like junk food, it was just kind of my treat for him. Uh, I got some pretzels for us. And I got two boxes of cornbread. Two boxes of stevia. Two packages of the kielbasa. And two onions. And that was what I got. For the shopping trip, I will show you my menu plan next. Okay, here is the menu plan. I guess I said this, but anything marked with a star means that it's a meal with these couple over here. So, okay, so we have chili, chicken soup, beef stew. This is a trim healthy mama recipe that I want to try. Salisbury steak, um, pot sticker patties, 
cashew chicken, and then these are just Trim Healthy Mama recipes that we want to try. Quinoa goes Cajun. Um, barbecue chicken with sweet tears and broccoli. I kept crutching this one out because I'm like, nope, nope. So we ended up with uh, roasted pork. Beef broccoli, that's actually what we're doing um, tonight. Um, orange chicken, and then that just tells me where my recipe is that I want to do for that. Chicken burrito bowl and kielbasa. I don't have any breakfasts or lunch um, planned out because honestly I just haven't been following that as much. Alright, thanks for watching.